Damon Sims, glad you could join us here for some interconference action. We are halfway through the season. We are halfway through the interconference portion of the season. We've already had two weeks of interconference play, and the Eastern Conference has mostly dominated, but the one team that has stood above it all out of the Western Conference has been these Las Vegas Silver Stars. We'll see if they can uh, handle the challenge that is the Omaha Racers. The Omaha Racers easily, di easily dispatching of Mexico City down in Mexico City last week. So we start off the week. It's Vegas and Omaha. Roy Hibbert and Nikola Vucevic at center. Up for the jump and Omaha wins the tip. Here's Westbrook driving the lane. Fights inside. Pass Vucevic and in. And the foul. Let's get a good look at that again. And Westbrook, just such an elusive point guard, able to fight his way in and able to get the score. Granger goes up. He'll miss as well. Pulled down by George. Pass ahead. Tristan Thompson laying it up and in. Two-point lead. Both teams trading baskets. A net positive for the racers thus far. Westbrook open on the perimeter. Off the screen. And Vegas takes the lead. 8-0 run here. Early on for Vegas. Ball tipped away. Here's Granger on the fast break. He's all alone and he finishes with the two-handed jam. Granger saw the light blue carpet. He was able to throw it down and finish on the offensive end. It's a 10-0 run now. The floater bounces around and in. 10-point lead. So Eugene Floyd's timeout for Omaha didn't do much as Vegas continues their run. But he has gotten the start, and he's contributing to his team up by 12. George finesses his way to the basket, and he'll draw the foul. Just some nifty moves here. Got by Granger without a problem, and then Hibbert, the rim protector he is. That was the last real challenge, and the former Pacer teammates meet up at the basket. George the victor on that one. Ball to Matthews. Matthews goes inside. Hop step up and in. So Vegas got way out ahead there, and they're up 32 to 21, heading into the second quarter. And made five of them last week, and that was really his arrival as the three-point shooter here on the Racers roster. I mean, he'd been putting up threes regularly, but he didn't really get going until last week. Brandon Wright called for the foul, and one. And here's Shabazz Muhammad. That you got to be. Uh, careful with here because if he gets going he can get hot he's a bit of a microwave and it's shots like that that can press the power button that's no good pulled down by Hibbert Watson kicks it over Muhammad for three moving the ball around Stops with Watson as he tries to drive inside. Loses it. Stolen by Dragic. Dragic on the fast break. Will he finish? Ever so softly. And he will get the foul as well. Here's Korver. Hand off to Dragic. Works it. Thompson gets past Griffin and is able to finish with a slam. Fooled him on the pump fake. And that was all Tristan needed to go in. It's going to be quite a, a ways to go if Omaha wants to get back into this. Las Vegas has done very well today. And that shot goes up and in. Granger called for the foul, trying to block from behind. And George doesn't lose focus as he's able to knock it down. Ranger gets it back. Williams, he'll put it up. It's practically a touch pass from Granger to Williams. And the Silver Stars are on a 10 to 1 run. Here 
Westbrook trying to fight his way in. Two more points. And one. Westbrook doing what he does best. Loves to attack the basket. No fear. And he is rewarded for his tenacity. And so that'll do it for the first half. Las Vegas been in control the entire way. Up 61-44. Westbrook has been phenomenal so far in this game. Alley-oop inside. Finish off to Blake Griffin. Here's Vegas' chance to extend their lead up by 14. And they've been up by as much as 19, but the ball's deflected. Here's Omaha on the run. Pass ahead. Lillard able to hop up there and throw it down with one hand. They'll get a second chance after Thompson lost the ball out of bounds on the last possession. Oh, man, what a slam by Tristan Thompson. And Tom and Clay Thompson, with that simple handoff, just made it look easy. Tristan goes up. It was like slow motion. Westbrook trying to drive past Lillard. It's going to be hard to do. Oh, shakes Lillard. Can he finish? Yes, sir. What a crossover by Russell Westbrook. 21 points tonight and two broken ankles. But Omaha, who's been down for much of this game, is able to push to within nine at least. But is it too little too late? We'll find out after this. Williams for three. Oh, in and out. That would have been intense right there. And even though with eight and a half, if Williams made that, that definitely would have been a dagger. Lillard shows Williams how it's done. 87-80, seven-point game. He had four fouls and was able to hang on the entire game. Omaha has been stagnating here on offense, and that has given Las Vegas ample opportunity to swipe at that ball, take it away, and finish on the other end. Three-pointer no good. Put-back slam by Tristan Thompson. Las Vegas looking to put this one away. Stolen by George. George out ahead on the break. And he's able to throw it down with one hand. Six-point game. Second shot just as good. So it's a five-point game. Omaha still mathematically in this. So it's going to take a lot of work to close the gap here. Oh, poked away. This will help. Here's George. He'll go in for the slam. Three-point game. So it's exactly things like that that could go a long way towards getting Omaha back in. Who would have thought? But it's been those steal attempts that have led to some fouls called by the ref for a number of the fouls in this game. Another gamble allows Williams the open lane to ride in for the layup. And it, with 30 seconds even, Left in this game, Vegas with a five-point lead. Child's play for Westbrook. And a little disheartening for the Omaha fans here. Here's George putting up the three. And that'll close the gap. It's a two-point game. Oh, this isn't over just yet. Not just yet. 8.1 seconds left here in regulation. And Williams will be intentionally fouled. 6.8 seconds left in the fourth. Going to take a miracle here to get down the floor. Dragic, he's pushing it. He'll put up the three. Force it. And in and out. And that is your ball game. Omaha tried to make a run of it there late. But too little too late as the Silver Stars come out with the four-point win. This just solidifies Vegas' lead in the West. While Omaha is back to 500 at 3-3. Three three. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of CBL Basketball on the Coliseum Sports Network. I'm Raymond Sims, everyone. Have a good one.